start recording. I will never be. I can't be nice to Hannah. She literally played the roast card. I, I they're literally paying me to be mean. Excuse me. All right, let's play more of this. Let's see more of what War and his funny boy are up to. You know, chat, here's the thing. You're always gonna have to wonder from now on if I change the cutscene. From now on, you're just gonna have to sit there like, is this how it's supposed to be or did Kyria fuck with this? You'll never know. Penis music of Damocles. What a, what a thing to say. However, I've got to ask. I've always been curious, and I think I'm, I'm finally curious enough to ask. Does the H in H lover stand for hentai? Are you a hentai lover? Is that what it is? No judgment. I'm just, I'm just curious. I think I, I, I think I'm legally allowed, like the last person allowed to judge somebody else for being horny. Yes, I'm a hentai lover. I knew it. I knew it. Hi, Molly. Oh, already EP time? Oh, but you just got here. Okay. I love you. I miss you. Come, come curl up under my desk, Joey. I miss you. That's cool. Hey, Marcy, by the way, um, how do you feel about fat women? Is everything okay, Joe? You are going to bed, like, surprisingly early. I fucking hate this guy. Uh, okay. p.m. It's normal for me. No, it's not. You usually go to bed like 30-ish minutes from now. Although I, I, I guess I did realize, or I didn't realize that it was already, I thought it was only like 5, I don't know, 20. I didn't realize it was already almost 6 o'clock and I've been streaming for an hour. What the, f have I just been shit-talking for an hour? Oh, I, that makes me feel bad. I didn't realize I was doing it for that long. Whoops, sorry. Okay. Oh yeah, chat. I've like made I was like making jokes about it and stuff, but um rules of bedtime. I'm sure I'm sure that Joey does actually have rules of bedtime from one of us. Um uh I I I, I was so I made jokes about it and like say it, but I never actually really looked it up because it's one of those things that's like I don't wanna look this up because I know like 
Have you ever had something that you didn't want to look up because you knew it would be true, but like you didn't really want like the confirmation? Like not knowing was like, it felt a little bit better, even though it was definitely worse for you. Um, anyway, uh, I looked up Dyscalculia or Dyscalculia, calcula, whatever it's called, um, uh, uh, yesterday and, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I've pretty much known I've had dyscalculia for like a long time, but like, I was like, no, I'm just bad at math because of like some stuff my dad did, my, the way my dad acted. Uh, so like, I, I, I don't actually have it. I'm like fine and normal. That may have not been as true as I thought. One of the big things was, um, I did not realize that, like, th there's two things that made me realize I have it, um, uh, in that, like, one of the most common symptoms, uh, or one of the most common, like, things to, to tell that somebody has it is, um, uh, sort of, like, a, it's, it's kind of like time blindness from ADHD, but it's a little bit different. It's, like, not like not being good at telling how much time has passed on something which i'm sure if you've watched me you know i'm always like oh it was like 10 minutes or like 30 minutes ago or like i'm always wildly inaccurate with how much time i think has passed versus how much actually has that's that's not just me like not really caring i'm really bad about that um um but also um underestimating or overestimating the distance of time is another thing so like looking at like a trip and being like oh this trip's only gonna take like 10 minutes um or like oh it'll only take me like an hour to get there or something like that and then it's actually like you know longer or whatever um it's it, I, I didn't realize that was a dyscalculia thing so whoopsie whoopsie daisy um, but the other one was, um, hold on, what was it? I need to find it. Oh, yeah, here, <clears throat> here's the most common thing that uh, becomes more of a problem as you become an adult. Chat, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna prove a point here. Hold on. Okay, here, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna prove a point real fast. Hold on. Numbers float and it's hard to read? No. I mean, I guess it can be that, but no. Um, does the brush really not get bigger than this? Okay, sure. Then I'm just going to do this. Okay, chat. Um, let me pull up the whiteboard here. Uh, um... Wait, no, hold on. Some of those are overlapping. Wait, hold on. One of those is not big enough. Chat, if you had to sight read, I don't know how many. I didn't count. I didn't think about it as I was putting them down. If you had to sight read, how many How many circles are there? Just just guess. Don't, like, sit there and count them out. Just, like, sight read it. Or just, like, can you can you, like, instantly figure it out? Or, like, close to instantly. The rest are ovals. All right, don't be pedantic. You know what I mean. So, that is apparently a skill. What you just did, what I just made you do by guessing how many circles are there, is a skill called substitize or sub, 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 subitizing, subitizing, or substitizing, or something like that. 
It is the ability to know from a brief glance and without counting how many objects there are in a small group. Children as young as five can subsidize six objects or more, especially while looking at dots on the side of a dice. However, children with dyscalculia uh, can subsidize fewer objects or, uh, and even when correct, take longer to identify than their age matched peers. I have no idea. How I drew it and I have no idea how many dots are on this. I can't like I I can't even guess like I genuinely can't. I don't know. There's like literally if there's like more than three of something, my brain just gives up. I'm like, ah, uh, there's a lot. I don't know. There's like uh, like I don't know. Uh, uh oh, my God, I'm a I'm like actually trying to just guess and I can't. It's like, uh, um, uh. Uh, uh, Jesus, um, I don't know. There's probably like fucking, I don't know, 15 or something on here. There are 18. Okay, sure. And I only said 15 because so many other people guessed like around that number. Japanese flag is fucked up, bro. But yeah, uh, apparently one of the absolute biggest things with dyscalculia is the inability to substitize past like three. Past like three to five if you're an adult. And I can't. That's that's correct. I can't. I wouldn't even like aside from just counting it out by going like, OK, why? Like, you know, fucking. And even then, if I count it out, I would need to use like uh, I would need to use a marker. So like, you know what? Here. Uh, I will try to count it out uh, without without using a marker. Um, <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. There's 19. Right? There's 19. Are you are you miscounting, chat? A bunch of you were saying 18. Is, there's 19, right? And eleven, thirteen. Okay, I hate this example. Actually, I'm going back to the game. Is the thing I'm going back to the game. I've decided I hate this example and all forms of it. Oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> that's really embarrassing. Uh-oh, I'm literally stuck. I am stuck. What? No, I can't move. That's not fair. Well, I got stuck. What happened there, chat, what happened, the reason I thought there was 19 is because without using a marker, I counted one of the dots twice. And when I used a marker, I realized which one I counted because I couldn't keep a mental track high enough of how many I had counted. What do you mean you break, how do you just do that? Like, I, what do you mean you break it up into groups of threes? You just look at a thing and your brain starts breaking it up like that? Yeah, well, you know, that math teacher was probably also not teaching somebody who's 28, so... 100. Might as well have his brother's sight. He can just buy it. Gives more souls too. Just a little bug brotherly borrowing, like when I brotherly borrow my my brother's wife. Yeah, 
Yeah, I also have the sword still. Well, that's not the sword. That's like a glowy one for the puzzle, but... Takes effort to break problems down, uh, unless it's something you do all the time, like understanding sentences. I don't know. When I was looking at that, trying to make a guess, I, I genuinely, like, I... My brain just kept focusing on, like, three or four big dots, and that, those, like... That, like, three or four kept, like, overwriting any number. I was like, ah, it's like... It's like... Uh, I don't know. That's... It's like... I don't know. Probably, like, three, three or four. I don't know. To be fair, I don't have it fully upgraded. Taking marker and sectioning the dots off in fives and they add up how many sections I drew and multiply by five and add in the last group. What and you just do that in like like fucking point two seconds? Liar? <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> How do you borrow your brother's wife? Um, I seduce her and then uh, when my brother isn't there, I stick my cock inside of her. Like, it, I don't actually not believe you for that you didn't section off the dots or whatever. I just don't understand how your brain does that. How? You're just doing that like, reg like, I understand if you were like asked to solve a problem, but you're just doing that like regularly when you're just like, oh, I see a group of things. Let me figure out how many there are. You just, you just do that? Your brain just does that automatically without even thinking just to figure out how many of a thing there is? I don't believe you. Like, I, I do, but I don't. Here's the boss fight. Hey chat. Hey chat, where do you think I'm where do you think this is? Where do you think I'm going? Chat, where do you think I'm going? I don't know. I bet this is like a like a save room. It's like a really nice, cool, calm place to be. I bet this is like a really nice, safe, just a good room. Where nothing bad can happen. expecting that voice but I'm here for it yeah I'm trans and I don't voice train because my voice out is oh I played Dark Souls before I, I, I fought this boss before where's your friend are they gonna show up when you're at 50% HP Play Dark Siders 2 and 3? Yeah, like eventually. I've never played 3 and I only played like the first hour of 2, but it took me like 8 hours because I was like on a train playing on the Wii U gamepad and didn't really know what I was doing. So I just kind of ran around for a while and it was still one of the coolest experiences I ever had. Like, I bet that's what you do. And I was right. I should have spent a lot more time smacking you. This will not end. 
end well for you, Horseman. supposed to do that. That's cheating. Okay. I gotta get some more fucking health. It's cold in my room. Playing on top of you and warming you up and also crushing you. Hold on. I've been surprised by Amazon packages before. Is it gonna show up today? Leave that up right there. Back to it later. What do you mean biting you? What the hell? I'm warming you up and you repay me with violence? You won't like my terms. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, did you see that? Did I miss? Why are you always missing stuff? Not paying attention to the damn zombie streams. Hates me real. you reeled <laughs> no the fourth horseman is uh is uh strife we've seen him in the game darksiders genesis but yes we are waiting on another darksiders game which is probably never gonna happen I mean, there's still three games to play. Fury was the third one. There's there's War, Death, Fury, and Strife. There's a Diablo-style game called Darksiders Genesis uh, that lets you um, uh, 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 that lets you uh, 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 lets you play as War or Strife, and it is the closest we will ever get to Darksiders 4. And it makes me sad that that's all we're gonna get. gonna happen. Okay. Are you kidding me?
be cool if you didn't do what are effectively fucking bombing runs. Okay. Why does everything in this have the hitbox of God? bad to be as, uh, pretty hard to be as bad as the Wheel of Rose hitboxes. Remember the teacher? Remember the one-armed teacher with the pipe? Oh my god, come on. He can hit you behind him on the other side of him. Uh, okay. Okay, what the fuck? Ray Bray 93 says hi. that power when she fucking tore down a horseman. There. Jesus. War? What are you doing? Oh my god! Scream! I am one of the 
chosen, I can grant your every wish. Can you restore the balance? Okay. Like a bat out of hell. Why is it not pop up with the achievement? I hate this fucking program sometimes, dude. <sighs> there. That should work. And another health bar. Wahoo. Tragic. Without your feathered friend, how will you escape this prison of rock? I'll find a way. You have certainly proven yourself resourceful. No, I got the pop up. I just want you guys to Perhaps see it. I can provide a and the program way. used to work so much better before Speak I updated plainly, it. Demon. Serpent holes, ancient paths that worm their way beneath the husk you like of this game? Yeah, I love this game. And beyond. I used I've played it to before. get about, and for a price, so can you. What do you want, Bulk? I do not trust this man. A trifle, really? The Chosen's heart. We already knew you wanted that. The moment you stepped oh, wait, no. Vulgram wants it and Samael wants it. They're different. You people. wound me, horseman. I would never come between you and your friend Samael. No, I only wish to look at the heart. One glance, and our bargain is sealed. Holes are yours, horseman. Seek me out when you wish to use them. Are the horsemen a polyphone? No, they're all like brothers and sisters. Um, why am I invisible? You've brought down Tiamat, have you? The destroyer must be pleased. You need Bulgrim more than ever. Vulcan's got something new for you. Old Vulcan's got something new for you. Reap wrath souls from enemies. I don't know what wrath soul. Oh yeah, that's the that's the yeah this. Sick Freako. A then hold Y. I'm gonna just like. Okay, there we go. Well, I beat it faster than your dad did. Old Vulcan's got something new. Did you come all this way to waste my time? Wait, what? Oh, right. I was like, I had enough for this. Old Vulcan's got something new for you. Got 
got something new for you. You're not gonna believe it, but old Volgram, he's got something new for you. Old Volgram's got something new for you. SMH, you're always saying favorite fishy to Marcy, but I never get favorite zombie. SMH. I see, I'm not good enough. Favorite fish you make some smile. Yeah, maybe favorite zombie would make me smile. Anybody ever thought about that? Crying. Favorite fleshy. Ooh, that sounds weird. <laughs> You've brought down Tiamat, have you? The destroyer will not be pleased. Crossroads, broken stair, choking crown. <laughs> as tall as he is, yeah, that's pretty big. But he's a pretty big guy, to be fair. Cloud one and two is dark. Always remember, happy day. I give a mental record to all you can do. I'll do my favorite zombie. Yeah, and maybe I just like hearing it. Okay, maybe I just like it when people are nice to me. Everything went out, huh? Greetings. Was there gonna be a reason? Favorite fetid fin. Please, please don't call me that. I'm not guilt tripping. <laughs> not a guilt trip. Hi, unsuspecting zombie who I didn't know was there. Favorite glitch harvester? All right, you know what? I guess that one's true. That one's just true. LS plus LT plus LS. Oh. An unsuspecting zombie who I didn't know. Was there. Yeah, that was Mark Hamill. <sighs> Doppel, you were just taking dates out of your ass. There's no way. No, I don't. I think it would be cool if you weren't. Thanks, Marcy. That's my full title, actually. Glad somebody knows. Of course, I am JK. I am JK. I am not upset. I joke. I just joke. I'm just bantering. I'm just. I'm just having. Having a. Having a giggle. Having a gaff. You're in the top ten VTubers named Kyria. Yeah, but I'm actually not the number one VTuber named Kyria. I regret to inform you. I'm literally, actually, unironically not, not the top VTuber named Kyria. There is a Spanish VTuber named Kyria who is bigger than me in every way.
Yeah, her tits are bigger too, chat. Her tummy probably is bigger, actually. Just look up Kyrie, a VTuber. You'll find her. She's got like, like light purple hair. She's very cute. I follow her on Twitter, even though I have no idea what the hell she's saying because I don't speak Spanish. But I feel like I gotta, you know, solidarity with the with another Kyrie. Yeah. Still better though. Hold on. Okay. I thought I got kicked out of a Discord I was in. Because I didn't see it in my things for a second. It just wasn't where I remembered it being. But I was like, huh? Hello? Miss Mr. Obama? Or the fourth result when you Google Kyrie a VTuber? Yeah, ouch. Her tummy's bigger, I'm gonna have to move on. Sorry, boss, I understand. That's pretty good. I should be the first result. There's not many other VTubers named Kyria. There's just me and Spanish Kyria. I know, Violet, I'm just giving you shit. I trust that she suffered. Not nearly enough. The second guardian, the griever, moves in tunnels beneath this place. But first there is an obstacle that must be removed. Ooh, Fane. One. Hell yeah, number one Dark Side is War Match. You didn't mention that. Right, let's go. Changing the deal already, Samael. Be silent, Bill. <laughs> is no ally of the destroyer but I like that I heard him go ah! without confronting the black hammer and that will require strength you don't possess yet no. what the hell do you think you are doing Samael your Tell mom. me, Watcher, how you stifle a horseman's true power in order to keep him on the council's leash. Oh, Lord, yeah, I forgot about this. Destroy this parasite. You so much as blink at me, and the council will end you, both of you. I'm protected. Not in here. You are war, rider of the red horse. Not Looking at my giant gauntlet bigger than my entire face. Creatures dreams. Or I will make you suffer. Focus your anger. A great rage stirs within you, clawing to get out. You must release it. Or a puppet. Compound Wars cast form to smite enemies. Press LB plus RT to unleash the chaos. Oh, yeah. Don't die, Marcy.
Who's voices war? Liam O'Brien. O'Brien, O'Brien, whatever. Something like that. I'm trying to see if there's any other places I can use my newfound upgrades. Something up there I didn't get. I love how sometimes the, the, the wings just don't come out. Also, you can tell this is a God of War like because when you jump, the camera doesn't go up with you. And like that, I, I literally only ever see that happen in God of War games, literally ever. The only game series I know that does that shit. Also, yeah, he is Illidan, isn't he? I never made that connection. But he super is. Did I ever go down here? I feel like I did. I super didn't. Hello, lifestone chart. Hello, third life bar. <laughs> There's a God of War collection that's on the PS3 or PS4 or something like that. Um, I would like to go back and, and, and play it at some point. Oh yeah, speaking of Hannah, are you here? I'm sorry, yes, I know, I'm just asking. Uh, guess who's, uh, guess who's, um, thing was unhackable? Guess who has one of the, th uh, the, uh, the, the 3,000 or 30,000 or whatever models? 30,001. Technically, you can still do, uh, you can still put hen on it, but it just, yeah, I know, I know, but, like, that sucks, frankly. I, I really hate non CFW shit like that. I have hacked a lot of consoles where you had to do uh, uh, cable hacks like that, where you have to redo them every time you like turn the console on. And it's always just a big fucking hassle. Also, Ken just can't do everything that the CFW can. I'm thinking about looking on um, looking on eBay to see if I can find like a cheap PS3. Same as the Switch. The Switch is better because it can automatically set, like I have to plug in my Switch into Tegra RCM every time I use it, but I can uh, uh, set it to automatically do that in, in uh, Hecate. You can't do that with the PS3. Which is the difference maker for me. For more.
Getting on the treadmill? Do it! Speaking of, let me check my, uh... Check my package. Grabs my nuts. Yep, they're still there. Smile. Now arriving between 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. Oh, it is not getting here today. Okay. All right. Good night, Joey. I love you. I don't know what that little blue thingy up there is. I remember it's like a grappy hook type thing. to killing all gods except half today in God of War. I'll, I'll get around to God of War eventually. I mean, I've played them myself. I just need to stream them. But yeah, they're really fun games. It is a series I would like to do. I would like to do God of War uh, 1, and or 1, 2, and 3. And then I can do um, the, the PlayStation portable versions as well. Do that before playing Ragnarok? No. Because I already know the story, so I wanted to, but eh, it's, it's, it took too long now, so. Plus, the problem is, if I do that, so, like, let's say I, I, I very quickly, like, mainlined God of War 1, 2, and 3, right? And then maybe even did the PSP ones? Then you guys are going to be bored of God of War, and you're not going to want to, you're not going to want to watch Ragnarok. You'll be like, I don't know, man, that's a lot of God of War. I mean, I don't really mind the, the fucking. I don't like I don't like it when it's Aphrodite for obvious reasons, but I don't really mind the fucking. It doesn't bug me that much. Like it, it fits in tone with the games. As it goes on, it becomes a little less like justifiable, but still fits in tone with the games overall. But no, I'm probably gonna play Ragnarok on uh, on my uh, subathon. I'm gonna be playing a lot of big games on my subathon. The way I'm planning to uh, do my subathon is to have um, like like maybe a few small games overall um, ready as well. But the idea is like my very first subathon I did. I'm gonna have it so that like in the daytime I play one of the like longer games that like you know takes a while to complete, like Judgment or Ragnarok or something like that. And then later in the night, we'll play something. We'll like have a break where I eat and like we watch videos and stuff like that. And then later in the night, I'll have um, I'll have uh, I'll have like you know a, a smaller game that like isn't as overwhelming because like 12 hours of a game in like one day or whatever uh, can be a little daunting for people. Yeah, it's like my mom basically. Seventy to eighty pounds. When I looked, they were they were still pretty. They were they were still like two hundred bucks here, and that was a few months ago. The two things I really want are a PS3 so I can play PS3 exclusives because uh, a bunch of them never came out anywhere else, and uh, the PS3 is still kind of hard to emulate. Um. So the, I don't know, maybe they're not that expensive, but um, I would like PS3. I would like a PS3, um, uh, and I would also like a Wii U. Um, but I might have news on that Wii U front. The reason I want a Wii U is because it can play GameCube, Wii, and Wii U um, all natively. And, like, 
There's a bunch of Wii games I would like to play, but frankly, Wii games, even though Dolphin is an amazing emulator, um, even though Dolphin is like an, uh, like an amazing, incredible emulator, like, uh, uh, at the end of the day, um, like, a lot of Wii games are just not going to be fun unless you were using like a like a sensor bar and a Wiimote and all that shit, right? Like they're just going to kind of feel like hacky and like workarounds and shit. So there's a lot of Wii games that I want to play. And if I play them on the Wii U, then, you know, like that's just an easy way to do that. Plus, I can play some of the Wii U exclusives like Twilight Princess and uh, Twilight Princess and uh, Wind Waker. I think Twilight Princess came to Switch, but I don't think Wind Waker ever did. either came to switch i thought twilight princess did i know wind waker didn't i know that for sure but i thought twilight princess did skyward sword did uh yeah that is probably what i'm thinking of then what would I just want to see if there's anywhere I can use these uh, things, but I'm guessing probably not. You know what? In fact, as soon as they get out of this serpent hole, I'll just go back. I'll just progress the main story until I have almost all the upgrades and then I'll go around looking for stuff. The screen pad thing is busted. Why weren't you taking care of it? But no, um... Or did, it, did your pad have that thing where the battery broke or whatever? No, I have some good news on the Wii U front, but I'm not going to, like, say anything until it gets here. Uh, because I might have one coming to me anyway. But I don't want to say anything until it gets here. And uh, I also want to, like, uh, double check that I'm allowed to, like, say anything about it at all. But I might have one. Maybe. Maybe when I say I'm going to do a thing and then don't do it. Also, it's very funny they hid their loading screens in this like like weird like transitory realm thing it's very funny to me because like god of war does that too and everybody was like wow that's so cool and interesting i've never seen that before yeah motherfuckers that was in darksiders this like world where you have to travel through for fast travel points remember that from god of war uh 2018 yeah it's from fucking darksiders dude i'm sure another game did it before darksiders even but strategy and I'm just going to spam it. Well, GameCube I don't mind emulating as much, uh, especially since it works on the Retroid Pocket, but we I don't really want to, like, play that stuff, you know? Like, I don't really want to emulate that. If, if a Wii game requires you to use the motion controls uh, or like the pointer or anything of a Wiimote, I have just found emulating it to be a subpar experience basically always. Kind of the same way that like you can't really emulate like DS games. Like you can, but like unless you did like Marcy and you have like a drawing tablet where you, you know, you have a second screen that's a drawing tablet, they just don't feel as good to play. You kind of need a second touch screen. They, they really are just kind of built with that in mind. It's a shame, too, because Dolphin is such a good thing. And, like, you can get, like, 
you can get a thing with Dolphin that makes it fine, where you get, like, a, um, a Wii sensor bar, and you hook that up to your PC and everything, but, like, eh. I also just like the Wii U. I think it was a good console. I'll die on this hill. There's a fan down there. Why doesn't it shoot me back up? That's dumb. Hyrule Warriors is great. The one on the Switch is the better version because of all the extra content from the 3DS version. But, like, Hyrule Warriors is one of my favorite games. I should stream that on my second channel because that is a grindy as hell game. It takes forever to do anything in that game. Why is the camera doing this? Hello? Oh, I'm stupid. I got so obsessed with what the camera was doing, I didn't even, like, think if this is what I needed to be doing. Whoopsie. It's funny, I actually really do not like Dynasty Warriors, except when they're, like, mixed with something else. Hyrule Warriors, amazing game. Um... Fire Emblem Warriors, amazing game. Fire Emblem Three Houses, amazing game. I've heard the Dragon Quest one is really good. Persona 5 Strikers, amazing game. Uh, fucking, uh, uh, the One Piece one I've heard is incredible. Like, all of those are really good games. Dynasty Warriors, I snooze. I'm snoozing. I'm falling asleep at the wheel. Yeah, One Piece is like four of them, I know. I love Musou games, but I don't like the actual, like, original series. But whenever they license out a game, I'm like, ooh, baby. I just, I don't know. Dynasty Warriors is like, it, it, it's like too obsessed with being realistic, it feels like. Oh god, you made me forget about Age of Calamity. That one fucks as well. It's funny how much of a Zelda fan I am and how much of a Metroid fan I am for somebody who, like, despises Nintendo. And not even in the usual Zelda fan way where they, like, yell about every game. Like, I just genuinely really do not like Nintendo, like, basically at all. Um, but, you know, those games are good. They're good enough that they make me forget their Nintendo games. Also, I will be playing the Princess Peach game because I'm a lesbian. And I really, really, really like Princess Peach. What's your worst, Nintendo adults or Disney adults? Disney adults. 
Nintendo sucks, and I call them the Disney of video games, but, like, Nintendo doesn't have such a stranglehold in the video games market that, like, we didn't get, like, queer video games for, like, 50 years. Disney does. Fuck, fuck Disney. Disney defined the idea of what family-friendly is. And Nintendo did the same thing to the video game of what, like, a family-friendly video game is. But thankfully, there are enough other people in the video games industry that were like, yeah, but, like, we don't have to just do what Nintendo does. I still want to play Super Mario Bros. Wonder, too. Just because uh, the animation looks really good, and I'm a sucker for good animation. <sighs> Nintendo adults can be just as fanatical? That's not the point. The, the point isn't that the individual consumer is annoying. The point is that, like, the corporation that they're standing is, like, you know, actually, like, heinous. Well, I mean, Hannah, I think that's what people enjoy about them. They're samey, but there's always, like, a slightly different, like, flavor or formula. Like, oh, this one's got, like, like, all of them always have a different gimmick, and then there's always, like, like, oh, this is the time one, this is the mask one, this is the boat one, this is the wolf one, you know? Like, they're all this, they're all very similar, but there's always, like, a, there's always a gimmick that, like, you know, I like this gimmick more than the others. Like, I like the mask one and the mask mechanic more than I like the, the wolf mechanic or whatever, you know? You basically come to play the same game with a gimmick every time, which is fine. No, I know, but I'm, I'm telling you which is worse. It's Disney super fans because Disney is worse. It doesn't matter how annoying or fanatical the fan is. I don't give a shit about somebody being annoying or fanatical about a thing that they like uh, and I, like and they're being annoying about it. If I cared about people being annoying, I'd ban half of chat. <clears throat> no, I'm kidding. I love you. Um, <laughs> so mean. Um, but no, like I don't give a shit about how like annoying or fanatical somebody is about their thing. What I care about is is the thing they're annoying and fanatical about like a fucking threat. And like Disney, for example, is a threat. That big of a loss? Okay, bans you. I'm kidding. You're not annoying, Hannah. I was joking. Nobody's annoying. I was being mean. I was being mean for a bit. Don't internalize it. I'll fucking kill you. That shit is annoying. annoying because I'm still here. Wow, you got the whole chat laughing with that one. Full self-depreciation joke. Got the whole chat laughing with that one. Wow. You're gonna start being mean when you guys self-depreciate, so you fucking quit it.
Probably won't help. Fucking nothing does! Be fucking nicer to yourself. It's big. It's so watery. Ugh. I just said cow. I don't even really know what you just said. I missed it, I guess. But like teasing you about your Mario ship or whatever? No, that's, that's whatever. Have you looked into a therapist diagnosis for borderline personality disorder? Psychiatric evaluation for that disorder, rather. You're being mean to yourself if you start a, if you start a, a sentence with "I know I'm annoying," but I'm gonna weasel your way out of there. I'm gonna lawyer your way out of this one, you little shit. The BPD, that, that'll be fun. You don't have to. Frankly, if you think you have it, as far as I'm concerned, that's enough. Fuck the whole like, oh, you have to be fucking diagnosed or else you're, uh, I don't know, pussy. <laughs> yeah, that's how that works. That's that's what people say. That's right, Kyrie. You got it. You got it in one. What I want is to get Reaper Blade level two. I can't. Yes, I'll upgrade the sword. God is wise as you are powerful. God is wise as you are powerful. Yeah, go ahead, tickle my balls a little bit when you say that, Volgrim. Like just like reach under like right next to my taint and like just like rum rub your fingers. Run your fingers along my balls like you're trying to tap a piano. And then tell me I'm as wise as I am powerful. You're as wise as you are powerful. Oh thanks. I let a little nut. Not really. I don't know. I don't really have opinions about it one way or another, friend. Sorry. Thanks for freezing me, Molly. Yeah, every time you do that, you take a year off of my lifespan. Which is, like, infinite, so it's not that big of a deal, but, like, you are hurting me. Is that, like, is that what you want? Call me the TSA because I'm getting my hands down there then? Alright. What the heck? Why? Oh, okay, I'm fine. This one hurt too. You ever have like an itch that's like under your skin and like the muscle that you can't get to? That's what it feels like.
Oh my god, you fucking sick motherfuckers. Ad break? What did I miss? I don't know. You ever got an you ever get an itch deep down inside your nutsack? Like deep actually actually unironically, you ever get an itch deep down inside like the base of your penis? Like the like the meatus? Like like I'm not even joking, like way down in there, like way in like your urethra? That's a parasite inside of your cock. It's called trichomoniasis. No, UTI is different. UTI makes you feel like you have to uh like you have to be. The, uh, or like yeah, like like a burning sensation when you pee, and it makes you feel like you have to pee all the time. The meatus? That that's a real that's a real like medical term actually. Fun fact. To answer my question, I I don't know, man. About your Mario ship? I don't care. I don't yeah, I don't really care about it one way or another. Uh, hi. Oh, this stinks. Alright, cool. Now I have three of those. said it now I'm scared. Oh, don't worry. Trichomoniasis goes away. Like, you, you piss it out eventually, or it just, like, dies or whatever. But it's a tiny little parasite that gets inside of your penis, usually from sex with a person that has it, and they might not know. It's just a little, it's just a little penis. It's just a little penis parasite. A little PP, if you will. That's fun. That's, that's funny alliteration because, like, you know, PP, but, like, uh, that's not a joke. That wasn't, like, a setup for a bit. That really is a real thing. Can't have that because I'm ace. Uh, not necessarily. You usually get it from sex. You can get up. You can get it from other things. Hello, YTP. Scared again? Could have gone my whole life without learning about penis worms. They're not worms. They're not worms, you silly billies. Y'all love me if I was a penis worm? Who says I love you now? <laughs> I'm sorry. I listen. Once you start being mean, it's like an addiction. It's really hard to stop. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> you start loving me if I was a penis form? Yes. I'd say, would you still love me? Ah, caught by the grammatical error. <clears throat> yeah, I did play Bioshock. <clears throat> Excuse me. Team penis worm or team oh. cock ant? Why is this my life? Hold on, I gotta like look in the mirror for a minute. How did I get here? Is it good that I'm here?
Oh god, Ma uh, Maki, that's that's scary. <clears throat> Just know whoever wins, we all lose. No winning at all. Again, I really feel the need to reiterate here. It's not a worm. Trichomoniasis is not worm pilled. It's not worm coated. There's nothing worm about it. It's not giving worm vibes. You're not immune to penis worms. Uh, they can go, they can get inside of anybody's urethra. As long as you have the ability to pee, you, uh, it is possible for you to get trichomoniasis. It's a parasite. It's like a little, like, I, I believe it's shaped like a, a flea. Hold on, like a microscopic flea. Hold on. Trichomoniasis. Yeah, here. They're weird little fucking like single cell amoeba things. Yeah, see? They, that, that, that's it. They're just little parasites to get inside your pee. That's not a worm. It's fucking, it's round. Am I safe if I never pee? No. If you go swimming in a pool, uh, I believe it can, it can spread from one person's body to another from a swimming pool. It's not that big of a deal, chat. Uh, there's a good chance, there is a good chance, like, 20% of you have it right now and do not know. Well, actually, probably, my chat's probably not close to the statistical average of people, so. It's not a big deal. It goes away on its own, and for a lot of people, you're asymptomatic. Like, you won't feel anything. But if you're an unlucky few, uh, it makes your dick itch, or you're, like, coochie itch. Happened last cock parasite talk too. Why you gotta point out that we've talked about cock parasites more than once? I'm sorry, okay? Y it's your choice to be here. Why do you watch me? He's same as everyone. Yeah, but that makes you endearing. The curse must be broken. TV doesn't have good commercials anymore. Plus two callback. Bro, don't vomit on me. Bro, bro. Quit that shit. Find where these shadow lurkers hide and kill them all. It can't be that hard to find. I'm from the council and I say kill them all. Chat, you're not aware of the fact you Mother, could can be I be playing Hell Divers too. Divers too? Yes, you can. Chat, you're not aware of the fact you could be playing Hell Divers too, and you're not right now. Sorry. I 
didn't think my PC could run it. You'd be surprised. That, uh, I really wish that I had um Shit. I really wish that I had um I had not played infinite fusion like the way I did uh, Like the timing that I did Because uh, I don't really like there's nothing really for me to do to replay it But now they added trubbish and I want to but like I would want to like play a new story or a new version of the game or whatever I don't want to play it Mons isn't enough to make me play. I want like a new area, a new story, even if it was just a remake of Gold and Silver. Oh, I do not like this one. Okay. Anonymous says, What job does Zombie Mozart have? He's a decomposer. True. Dad. Thank you, Dad. Motherfucker. Do you have to attack when it happens? I don't understand. I did it the first time and it's not doing it. Even if it's randomized? Yeah, I don't care. That's not enough. to hold the button. Okay. That explains a lot. Okay. That explains a lot, actually. But that's not, like, interesting enough for me. I don't know. Not really enough of a reason for me to replay it. I already find Pokemon Red and, like, you know, like, the original Pokemon to kind of be really boring when it comes to, like, story and presentation. The only thing that really saved it was it being, you know, infinite fusion, but like if I have to go through that again to see the new stuff, eh. or something? Huh. 
Shedinja fusions? Oh, fuck. Well. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I think it's very funny. This game just has challenge rooms and it's like, yeah, to progress the story, you just have to do a bunch of challenge rooms. This is like an autism thing, kind of. I'm genuinely serious. Like, I don't know. Do you guys really, like, can you guys really not deal with hearing with gross things, or hearing about gross things when you eat? Does it really make you struggle to eat, like, actually? Why? I, 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 I cannot comprehend that. That's like very surprising to me. No, I'm very good at visualizing. But you're not eating dick worms. You know that. That's very silly. Why would you suddenly be eating dick worms? that thought, I feel like I'd just look down at my food and be like, oh yeah, it's not good for it. Hey, Ben Shapiro, fuck off. That's not what I'm saying. Momentary displeasure throws off the whole groove of the meal. I, I just, that couldn't be me. I don't know. That couldn't be me even a little. I don't know. I can't imagine almost anything throw. I can't imagine almost anything throwing off my meal. I have like, I, I also don't get when people are like, oh, a hair, ooh, ooh, a hair in my meal. Like, yeah, dude, everybody's got hair. Unless you're fucking Northern Lion, everybody's got hair. It's not true. There are people who are bald. But I'm just saying. Like, I, I everybody's got hair. It happens. You're going to find it sometimes. Big whoop. I don't know. I don't get that one. Taking the bold stance of people who are bald with this. My wife is disgusted by hairs. I don't get it. I don't understand. 
it, like, I'm gonna be honest, if there is any part of a person I want to find in my food, it's like, if I have to find some part of a person in my food, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's hair. Like, the thing that I want to find the most is hair. Like, if I, if I have to find something, if I, if I have to find any part of a human, it's hair. Like, like, do you think I want to find a like that's that's got to be the least dirty part of a human, dude? That's that's the that's the least dirty part. Like, if I find a fingernail in there, gross. That there's dirt and shit in there. If I find some skin in there, I don't know what's on your fucking skin. Ew. Why do you do this every time? You fucking ruin my model every time. I don't, I don't, I don't, yeah, hair is not clean, but it's cleaner than any other part. It's just gonna have your oils and shit in it. I don't know. Flopsy Dops just cancelled the last card. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. I tried that without thinking ignore my clown ass. I don't even, what, say no it's not? Do you like Rammstein? No. I don't really like basically any metal. There's like a, every once in a while I'll hear a metal song that's an exception, but generally speaking, no. Feeling something inedible in my food and an expected classic female hair metal bone doesn't matter which. Just pick it out. Like I have eaten food that had like like I I I I, uh, I remember like uh uh like you know I think I was at a buffet once and there was like a little tiny piece of like plastic uh from the uh from the like thing that they obviously like got the food in. And I didn't like lose my shit. I went, oh, they must, they must have just fell in when they were cooking it or whatever. Like it must have just been a thing. Oh well. And then I just picked it out and I kept eating. It's not a big of a deal. Any of all these in my pizza? You're... I was gonna say you're weird, but you're not. You're actually probably statistically very normal about this. I'm the weird one. I just don't get it. I don't. I like. I don't even mean that in like a. I think you're dumb way. I just can't, like, conceptualize it. My brain doesn't work that way. You're asking me to think in, like, four dimensions here. Thank you. 
title? I mean, I'm sure it's like, I don't know, something like Die or Kill or Sex or something in German. I know Rammstein song title, so like, I, I don't know, I'm really not that interested, I'm sorry. I know like what their gimmick is. Get off my ass! I say being the only person fighting him. Where's my boys? What are you guys doing? You're just ganging up on one guy? Invent a new type of Yaoi chat. Dickworm Yaoi? No, that definitely exists. Yaoi for men? Now that's bold. That's that right there. That's bold. Yaoi for men is hmm. That's bold. That 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 could be some. That's got some legs, I think. Yowie for cats? What if Yowie but one of them was a woman? No, no, that's already been done. What if we invent like, like Frankenstein Yowie chat? Like, like, like the story of Frankenstein, but he falls in love with his creator. But it, like, it's, it's a forbidden romance because that's like kind of like family and, you know, they, they, the, the creation can't love its creator that way. So then the creator unmakes himself so that, that the Frankenstein monster can remake him and then they are each other's creator thus creating a new type of relationship that's unexplorable and hasn't ha hasn't existed before this moment. There we go, Frankenstein Yaoi. Pseudo incest Frankenstein Yaoi. There we go. Nobody's done that before. Talking Frank, I Frankenstein? No, I just said we should invent a new type of Yaoi. How about Yaoi between the characters from Cars 2? What would you do if you got isekai into the Cars universe and you were like a really shitty beat up like Oldsmobile or something? Like just a really old shitty car. Puku instantly with what hands man man i'll get my best fujos on it do the plot of cars too oh yeah weren't they doing a cars genocide in that one the frankenstein yaoi hypothesis implies the existence of dracula wolfman and creature from the black lagoon yaoi well i can already tell you that dracula yaoi exists that's just called um oh yeah that doesn't work on the other models 
Congrats, you played yourself, and I'm not giving you the card back since you changed the model. Fuck you. This is your punishment. Anyway, uh, uh, Dracula, Dracula Yowie already exists. It's called Castlevania. Canonically a bottom. I don't know about that. I don't know if I believe you on that one. Sounds fake. In the Netflix animated show, he is. That doesn't mean anything. You're just calling that, calling him that because he looks like a twink. I've seen it too. I don't remember any canonical bottom moments. Get show if I'm being honest with you. Somebody's just porting in these fucking like cars. This is your body after you get teleported to the cars universe. This is what I'm doing with it. Marcy, I'm thinking about the weirdo in your chat from the other day, and I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of laughing a little bit. I've not been able to stop thinking about them because they were really funny, <laughs> like very dumb, but like weirdly funny. Looks like that was the last of them. Let's get out of here. <clears throat> Specifically, the mm, you can tolerate Nishitani's insanity, but not mine. Yeah, somebody showed up in Marcy's chat and was like, hey, dar or hey, 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 sweetie pie, or hey, darling, or something like that. Have you cried yet? And it was like, don't be weird. Like, I timed that. I was like, don't, don't, don't like come in here and like immediately call my sister a fucking like weird ass, like cat call ass name, weirdo. So I timed him out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sugar, that's what it was. Hey, sugar. Hey, sugar, have you cried yet, or something like that? And I was like, don't do that. So I timed them out and I was like, don't be weird. Don't like immediately call my fucking sister a, a cat collie name. That's weird. Um, and then, and then after 10 minutes when they got uh, uh, untimed out, like when they, they stopped being timed out, uh, I was talking about the character on screen who was being like kind of insane. And they were like, uh, amazing. You can tolerate their insanity, but couldn't even uh, tolerate a little jab from me. I mean, shut the fuck up, weirdo. <laughs> I was like, all right, bye. <laughs> Get out of here then, cunt. Oh, 
fucked up and was almost nice. Don't be nice to chatters who are weird. If anybody makes you feel uncomfortable, just be a dick to them. What if that user could fox me? What are you doing, so mysterious? I thought it was very funny. I have not been able to stop thinking about them since that. It was it was very deeply funny to me. You can tolerate the video game character, but not me. Yeah, one of you is less annoying. And I'll give you a hint, it's the guy on the screen. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I've always, I've always been like, fuck people who are like weird, just ban them. But like, I've just been watching a lot of other streamers recently, and I've really gotten invigorated on a, on a, on a wave of like, if you're annoying, I'm just gonna like, if you're annoying and weird, I'm just gonna be like, all right, bye. I'm not, I'm not here to fuck with it. I'm not here to try to placate somebody. And be like. Ooh. Plus two, Marcy. You always placate me? Sure, sweetie. Whatever helps you sleep at night. If you're weird, you wouldn't be here. Okay, that's a lie. I mean weird in a way that makes me uncomfor uncomfortable, not like just weird. Regular chatter uh, can call me sugar once, ironically. All right, noted. I will be calling you sugar for the entirety of the stream. Which, by the way, are we doing that today? I think you might have said something, but I have a shit memory, so. Oh, that's bullshit. I said once, bitch. You said once to regular chatters. I'm not a regular chatter, am I, you fucking fat cunt? I'm your sister. Not uncomfortably weird, right? I, like I said, you wouldn't be here if you were. girl who calls you sugar and you think she's cat being like weird and cat calling you and then she just takes a big bite like just takes a big bite that encompasses your whole body and eats you in one bite there you go vor lovers that one was for you you call me a fat cunt yeah <laughs> in a loving way in a nice sweet loving my sister way everything on the scythe. And just switch between the scythe and the harvester. Not that I know why I would ever use anything but the harvester. Uh. Hold on, Marcy. I'm going to DM you something, actually. Why did I say that during Bullet Storm?
Hey, Stevia. Plus two. Hey sugar, hey sugar, digested in a cow's chambered stomach. Don't say that. You're not making it to heaven when you say shit like that. Oh hey, I remember this area from when I played last time. This area is cool. You get new shit here. Like this. Come on already. What are you waiting for? You plan on using them hands ever again. You best not go touching that what ain't yours. Bye, car. Ooh, thing. You know me, but I don't know you. And I don't like strangers. Especially the uninvited kind. And maybe who you are don't matter as much as what you want. I've come for the Black Hammer. <laughs> really now? Well, you're welcome to give it another go. After that, I best not catch you around here again. It's you. What's that now? The Black Hammer. It's you. Do your worst. But let me tell you a little secret, boy. The one in the dirt is by far the easier of the two. Oh, okay. Oh, God! Using the blade. Watch out. I know that it wants me to pull the hammer, but I don't remember how. Um, well, I thought maybe he runs into it, but no. Throwing glass against watch out. Yeah, what's up? That's amazing, Marcy. <laughs> the Google DeepMind learning algorithm uh, has, has heard you loud and clear.
damn it. I don't know how to beat this guy. It obviously wants me to use the hammer, but I don't know how. It's not letting me grab it. Well, he'd do just about as much damage as the real chiropractor. By the way, Chad, if you didn't know, chiropractors are scams. Based on fake bullshit medicine that isn't real and all the best they can do, the best they can do is offer you an untrained massage and the worst they can do is break your neck and uh, uh, stop you from ever walking or, you know, just like just paralyze you for the rest of your life. I almost thought you were serious. Or sorry, best they can do is a massage, worst they can do is that. Dude who invented it learned it from ghosts who told them that the, uh, there are magnets in the body that are lined up with the Hindu chakras. If I sound mad about this, I am. My mom wasted, like, probably an actual unironic million dollars of the very little bit of money she made over her life going to a chiropractor. No clue what I'm supposed to do here. I've already hit him enough that it's very clear it's not doing anything. I've been using the site. I was just supposed to keep hitting him even though the watcher was like you're you're dang doing nothing cool thanks thanks game 100 years since the day abaddon was taken from us i have prayed for this moment for your crimes i would see you tried in the white city but until this world is free of the destroyer its gates are closed to us and justice will not wait i sentence you here and now Why did the hammer go up in the air? I didn't do that. I feel like that's a bug. Your justice can wait till we finish our little scrap, Missy. There ain't no sport in jumping into a tussle, but don't concern you. Go on, fly away, pigeons. If I'm a pluck you. Blasphemer, it is you who take sides in a battle that doesn't 
concern you. <laughs> Please allow me. When'd you get up there? Damn. All right. Killed his ass. That's what you get for touching what ain't yours. I'd dock if I were you. One tough cookie, needle of fame. Keep them feathers flying, boy! Oh, right. I forgot about this. He challenges you. You have to beat him at killing angels. Dickhead, you stole it from me. wasn't very clear, but... Yeah, I'm through, friend. Oh, we're still battling, huh? impression of him I can do and it wasn't very good. Let me guess, you can break this ice shit? Yeah, okay, cool. to me, or it should have. What are you waiting for? Your ugly bastard ass. Right, he's not. He's got like ugly bastard like properties, but that's like a that's like a type. You don't actually have to despite the name, you don't actually have to be ugly bastard or an, uh, like an ugly person to be an ugly bastard. Just like a dude who's like big and brawly and like aggressive and like usually very muscular and kind of like fat. Huh. 
Also, I mean, there is a case, there is like a, a case to be made for something being so ugly, it's cute. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for somebody in chat to do the thing. I'm waiting for it. I know somebody's gonna. Over here, stranger. Yep, that's the thing. Thank you. Thank you, Molly. I've been returned to my form. Love that he calls them pigeons. That's very funny. Dog form was unnerving. It's not a dog. It's the autism creature. I definitely just went through the wall there and I should have grabbed it, but okay. Why don't you go killing any and cheating? Seat apparently just got delivered. We are Akiyama Sniff It plus two callbacks. Anyway, you know he did. I wouldn't buy a bike seat unless it was free Akiyama Sniff. God, I miss Akiyama. I miss him, dude. Marcy, when you get to him, you better cherish your time with him. I didn't, and now I regret it. sex fiend and Marcy found like a article from like the Daily Mail or whatever that was like this man will sniff your bike seat and edited it into a thumbnail while like the picture is him doing the DreamWorks face
Okay, fuck off. All right, whatever, man. Hold on, chat. I'm gonna go get my, my thing. Here. Chat, the fucking reviews for this thing said it was wide. They were not joking. God damn. This is like three times the size of any bike seat I have ever seen. Holy. Hold on. Um, I'm actually going to be ending early because I want Marcy to stream as much of Yakuza as it can uh, because it's near. It's at the point of no return with like the story where it's going to like be hard to find a, ba a good stopping point because it's basically the end of the game. So I'm going to end early so Marcy can stream, but I'm waiting for it to get back from the bathroom. So you're going to have to like just sit with me for a second while I install this because I'm the Okay. That's good enough to test it real fast. Let's see if this fucking extra large cake plotter over here. Whew, let's see if it supports my ass. That is a night and day difference. Holy.
gotta be like Titans the more. Could not believe how much of a difference that is. Oh my god. Holy! I didn't know a bike fucking. I didn't know a bike could be that comfy. God damn! Anonymous says, wish she'd use me like that. Hold on, let me fix it a little bit more. Hold on, chat. I'm gonna take a picture. I'm gonna take a picture of my old seat on top of it so you understand. Y'all need to see this shit. This is actually insane. Okay, all right. All right, hi, I'm back, hello. Okay. Sorry, I returned. Hold on, I need to show you this.
I guess this will also give you a a good uh <laughs> a good example of how fucking fat my ass is. Your jerk off material or whatever. Okay. Also ignore that my room's kind of dirty. Fuck you. Ah, oh, I gotta sneeze, but it won't come out. Ah! Okay. All right. So, so this is the seat by itself, right? And it looks pretty big, but it looks like maybe not that big, right? It's like, it's like not that big, right? Look at this fucking thing, chat. Look at this fucking thing. Look at how much, how, look at the difference here on, it, and this is, it is this much on both sides. The penis? Shut the fuck up. It's obviously a bike seat. Hold on. And yes, I know my room is dirty. Fuck you. Anyway, look. Look at this shit. Look how much si there is on both sides. Shit's fucking ridiculous, dude. That's that's so big. <sighs> Jesus. Anyway, Marcy, are you are you good? Are you ready to start? How softer is it? Night and day. Like sitting on a pillow versus sitting on a fucking spiky rock. Dealing with a weird issue? What's up? I'll DM you? Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, I guess that is an issue, isn't it? I mean, it's probably fine, Marcy. I... I that's like that's gonna suck a little bit that's like gonna suck a little bit but i think it's probably fine i don't think i don't think chat's gonna like notice like it'll suck for you a little bit but i think it's probably fine it's just a small technical thing you don't need to worry about it it's fine Thanks for stream. You're welcome. I'm sorry to end early, but I really want to see, uh, I really want to see, uh, Marcy do it. Thanks for the stream. You're welcome. Um, okay. Where are Marcy? I'm trying to I'm trying to let it it won't let me load or it won't let me raid rather. Hold on. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right. Or not? Okay, whatever. I'll just fucking do it manually. Got here but bye. It's okay. I'll be here tomorrow. All right. Good night. Goodbye. I love you. I'll see you in a few minutes on Marcy's stream. Bye. Oh, <laughs> did I scare you? Thank you for watching, and especially a big thank you to everybody in today's credits for their support on the stream. I hope to see you again soon. Bye!